Hi guys, I'm back. I may have added a couple dots during the break. I <laughs> I really got carried away. It's hard for me to kind of control myself with this project. I love making the dots. Um, so here's my first pair. Now coming over here to my second pair. Um, you do it much in the same way. Now I kind of want to see how much of this you're able to do on your own. So what I'm going to do, because I kind of think it's just, it's more fun if you can kind of just let loose and get into it rather than trying to copy every single thing I'm doing. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but this process is really about kind of experimenting and it's harder for you to experiment if you feel like you have to follow me and do exactly as I'm doing. But if you just kind of try it on your own, yours will obviously end up looking different than mine, but that's, you know, that's a good thing in the art world to kind of make something your own. So I tell you what, um, I'm going to give you a couple hints though, okay? I'm going to go through and I'm going to add my yellow here. I have a darker part down here. I'm going to add some orange, some red, some possibly green up here to get it to mix with the red and make brown. A little orangey red over there too. For the stem, I'm going to do red and green and yellow. I want you to pause your video because I'm going to pause my recording. And I want you to try the yellow on your own. And if you want to kind of get some hints, you can play it again, and then I'll remind you where the other colors go. Otherwise, I want you to kind of try it on your own, and let's see what you get, okay? So I'm going to pause my recording, and I want you to kind of try fill in that yellow, and then pick back up with me in, um, in a minute, all right? Okay. All right, guys, I'm back. So a couple things. I went ahead and I did this pair yellow. And now I'm going to come in and add the other values like I talked about earlier. So on the bottom down here, I'm going to add my little strip of shadow. And for my shadow, I'm mainly going to be using orange. Uh, a hint for this process. You want to try to stay away from using colors um, like black or even ready-made brown. You're going to have a much richer picture or painting if instead of, let's say, using brown, like for this stem. Instead of using brown, I used two colors I can use to make brown. In that case, the ones I chose were red and green. Um, that's kind of a good rule to go by, okay? So when you're doing pointillism, you want to try to use the colors that when you mix them together, they make the color you're trying to create. Now, sometimes you use the colors anyway, like how I used green for the entire thing. You can make green with, you know, yellow and blue, but try to at least, try to at least do it for part of it, okay? Um... I'm going to carry through with my orange up here, around here, and over here a little bit, and in that patch. And then I will pick back up with you guys in just a moment. Ready? All right, guys. Um, so I did the orange as I showed you guys. Now I'm just going to add... I'm going to do green and orange for the stem because that will get really close to that brown I'm after, but it'll still retain the color's integrity, so it's still going to look really beautiful, okay? And I realize that's not beautiful, there's not a word, but it is so beautiful. Some stem stuff going on. Awesome. That's it, guys.